Today, I'm going to be showing you how to unenroll your school Chromebook so that you can use Linux instead of Chrome operating system. The reason you want to do this is because you can remove any blocking extensions and teachers can't spell on you if you're using Linux. And there's a few steps to this, so make sure you're paying attention and let's get started. There are going to be a few things you'll need for this tutorial and if you don't have them, sadly this tutorial may not work. The first one being any computer other than your school Chromebook. It could be any operating system, it could be Mac, Windows, I don't care. As long as it can read a USB and use Chrome. Second, you're going to need any sort of USB flash drive that's bigger than 16 gigabytes. And if you don't know how big it is, just plug it into your computer and just check. And third of all, you're obviously gonna need a Chromebook because that's what you're gonna be using it on. And you're gonna need a brain because this may be difficult at some points. So make sure you pay attention to the video and use your brain. The first step is going to be going to the Chrome Web Store on an unmanaged device. So your MacBook or PC I was talking about earlier. And what you're going to do is go to this page I'm going to link in the description. And I already have this installed, but obviously you don't, so install the extension. So once you're finished installing your Chromebook Recovery Utility, then you're just going to go ahead to Chrome 100 Dev, I'll put it in the description. And as you can see, there are a lot of Chromebook models down here. Just find yours and remember this word on the left, it's going to be your board name. And if you're having trouble finding it, you can press Ctrl F and um, yeah, type in your Chromebook model here and it should be much easier to find. If you have trouble finding your Chromebook model, um, just look at the sticker on the bottom. Yeah, it should, it should show up somewhere around the Chromebook. Anyways, next you're going to go to the second link in the description and as you can see here, we have a lot of different download links and you're going to download the one that um, mentions your Chromebook board and if it's not here then sadly you will not be able to do this yet um, maybe wait for like a few months and come back but anyways if your board is here then you're gonna go ahead and click on the link and yeah it's gonna download for you um, and I already have this downloaded so I don't need to do it again obviously but yeah you're gonna need your flash drive now so just take your USB flash drive and put it plug it into your computer once you've plugged it into your computer you just need to um, open that extension you just downloaded and as you can see, it says create a recovery media for your Chromebook. And instead of clicking get started, we're going to click the settings button over here. You click use local image. And we're going to use that um, file we just downloaded. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. Um, it's probably zipped. You just need to extract it. If you don't know how to do that, look it up. But anyways, yeah, as you can see, we got this file. And I'm just going to open this file over here. And it's going to tell me to insert my flash drive. And we're just going to click here and select the flash drive you just plugged in your computer. If it's not showing up, just try putting it in another slot. And if that's if that doesn't work, it's your just your computer's issue. I don't know how to help with that. But yeah, just click continue after this. And yeah, as you can see it says create recovery image and you're going to click create now. And this is going to take a few minutes and I'm not going to do it cuz I already have it on mine. But yeah, once you're done, it should say complete. Okay, for this next step, you're going to need your Chromebook, obviously. And this will differ between different books. But um, for me, you just press ESC, um, the reload button, and the power button. And it should bring you to this, wait. Yeah, it should bring you to this page. And this is the point where you're going to take your USB and put it into the computer. And it's going to say no valid image detected. And this is completely normal because now all you have to do is just press control. If you did everything correctly, you should see this and you just need to press 3 and enter and it's going to do some stuff and you just got to wait like a few seconds and if you did everything correctly, you should see a, a login screen. Yeah, there we go. And you just need to type in user user for the username and password because that's the default. You can change it later. Um, I'll show you how to another video. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we have, we're loading in. Uh, yeah, and we're in and I'm not gonna show you how to do the rest of this stuff That's gonna be in a future video, but yeah, um, you pretty much get the idea You can you can open up Firefox you can get Chrome. Um, I even got steam on mine Um, yeah, I'll show that in a future video too But yeah, if you want more tutorials Just make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have problems feel free to comment or drop by my discord server I'll see you in the next one and yeah